All right, welcome back to this next episode, Chapter 4, Exercise 4-3, uh, Glazing. We're doing windows. And so we need to make uh, two new layers. Go to the Layer Properties. And let's create new layers. And we need to make a layer for a... glaze and this needs to be yellow and we need to make another one and this is also continuous for red or and that is the a glaze sill Hit OK. Done. All right. So now looks like um, double windows are six eight. Single windows are three two. So we need to create openings for these windows and put these windows in. So if we turn to page 4-39, the basement, uh, where is it at? We do have some openings here already created. So you already know how to do that. I'm not gonna go over uh, creating um, these openings. Uh, we are creating windows though. And so I want to create windows but I also want to make a block out of them. And the reason why I want to do that is so it's easier for me to just put them wherever I want to put them. So let's do this. Let's create a windowsill line here, 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 here. And we need glazing here, here. And I like to offset one inch towards the outside. So let me move this. Control L. Let's go move it straight up. And now let's, let's go back to here, glazing sill. And I can make this a block. And how can I do that? Just type in block. There we go. Uh, name, window. Specify base point. Okay, we'll pick one. All right here. And objects. Let's select the objects here. And I'm good with that. Hit OK. And now we can use dynamic block. Go over here. We can add a linear parameter from here to here. Hit OK. Double click right here. Select parameter. And we want to stretch, not scale. And it's asking me to, oh, did I not choose this? Ah, I chose linear. Wait a minute. Let's go. Let's see. Nope, I did it right. I messed up. My bad. Here to here. There. Select parameter. And I want to stretch. 
specify parameter point associated with action to enter there. here select objects there we go oh. select parameter let's try this again stretch Let's select objects. Hmm. Uh, I wonder why this is not going. All right, let's let's go to actions. Let's stretch. All right, let's test this out. See if it goes. Um, yeah, something went up. So I got to figure that out. But you get the idea. We can start stretching. We can use the stretch. Um, I'll I'll figure this out and show you how to do it in another another video. Where did my window go? Oh, there we go. Let's just do this. Let's delete that. Let's delete that. Let's parameters. Let's put a base point right here. Let's... Let's just do this. Linear stretch. Here. Okay. And let's actions stretch. Hmm. Not liking that. Test this out. Well, oh, it's getting there. Something happened. All right, let's close that. Block editor, what happened? There we go. Save that. Okay, this, it's almost there. Anyway, I'll figure that out and move that in later. So, let's copy that, that, and probably could tell us in a rotate, but I want to rotate this in such a way to where this is the middle right here. This is the midpoint to midpoint, and I offset this towards the outside. So when I copy this, copy, I want to paste it in such a way to where when I rotate this, R-O, 
it lines up and then copy and there you have it that's how you do windows um, go ahead and follow the plans on so that was that was on page 4-39 and you have 4-40 4-41 um, and you want to do them from the center I mean you know how to do it from the center point of each window and it looks like that there is double windows on page 4-40 and 4-41 and I want to say that's how you make them so go ahead and uh, add in the windows and that is it we'll get into adding annotation and dimensions and so we'll create uh, more layers for all our drawings and so uh, stay tuned for the next video thank you